you want to build the ultimate team or open a shed load of packs and you need coins, then go to ufever.com or igsky.com and use the code TVM at either checkout or both if that's what you tickles your pickle to get yourself 8% discount. The links can be found down in the description. Go check them out. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to the Crouch One and Up. Right, this is where I get serious with this. I've got a bit of a, I got a bit of time here, right? And I'm going to apply myself. I am going to play the best Crouch Calcio you have ever seen. Okay, so this is the team. Sessing Young went in the last episode. Of course, I was the only upgrade we managed. We've got two informs in there in Bentaleb and in the West Ham centre back. If I can get onto him, uh, Kai. Koyate, I can't say that guy's name for love nor money, but either way, he is one of my centre-backs. With um, Okora, who started off very, very strongly for me, but all of a sudden he seems to have had too many Gregs, and he can't seem to move, so we need to upgrade that guy. Problem we've got is, as I've said before, is there are very little cards on the market at the moment, so the silver informs might not be an option, but we'll have to deal with that if we can get Crouch playing some Calcio. Without any further ado, let's get playing and see if he can bang some in. Up to Crouch, didn't work out, ball through, gotta be offside ref, and it is, what a challenge anyway, he was offside, but I went for it, and I got the ball, quick little ball there to Crouch, Crouch with a good first touch, and that is a foul referee if I've ever seen one, thank you very biscuits, the line to Zarate, out wide to Saidi, that is a hell of a ball from Zarate, what can we do here, little spinning motion into Crouch, Peter Crouch with a great first touch, oh, I took it away from the goalkeeper, but he couldn't bend it in, uh oh, uh oh, uh-oh, 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 good effort. Ooh, Labia dribbles one wide after the deflection, takes that for a corner. This is where we kick it off, right? Crouch, ball inside, lovely, lovely. Sessignon, dink it, mate, dink it. Crouchy, second chance of the game for him to score. Manages to blaze it wide of the post. Why, why are you doing this to me, Crouch? You need to get these upgrades. I don't think this formation's working, but I don't think I can change it either. A good bit of football from Okora. Look at that for a ball for Crouch. Crouch is bearing down here. He's got to get half a yard, and he shoots, and he... Well, I honestly thought he was going to score. Great save from the goalkeeper. Weak foot effort from Crouch. Maybe I could have cut inside. Who knows? Corner. Okora does well again. Okora is just unbelievable in defence today. He's performing so well. Good football from Zarate. Sessignon dinks it. Crouch in on goal. If he does... Oh, my God. Look how long, look how long he took. Look how long he took to control. Control it. Peter Crouch, what are you doing? I'm, I'm really, really quickly going off him. Uh, my bad. And it's a goal, and it's my own fault. I've started making mistakes. I started getting angry. I was really happy up until the goal. Competent, and I was playing well. That Crouch moment really, really put me off. It made me angry, and that's why we've conceded. Ball from Zarate is a decent one. Crouch is going to get on the end of it. Please, Crouch, please, Crouch. Yes, Crouch. Yes, Crouch. Yes, Crouch. That's what it means to me when I score a goal now. That's what it means. 1-1, one, one, and we've got one upgrade. Woo! Ball into Asai. No, Sessing Young. Through to Crouch. Crouch is in on goal. Crouch again. Crouch. Crouch, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Why is he so shit? Bentaleb. What are you doing, Bentaleb? What are you doing? Turn around and kick it, mate. Oh, what an absolute knobhead. Zarate on a run. Zarate from kickoff. Ball rolls here. Ball rolls for days here. Zarate. Zarate! Good effort. Should have scored. Didn't. Because that's just how shit I am. Crouch. Good ball control. He's down. That's got to be a free kick, ref. How is that not a free kick? What are you smoking? Crouch needed to go around the outside. Zarate cuts inside. Good effort. And how has the goalkeeper saved it? And how did Zarate put it further in the corner? Woeful effort. A nice game set match. We've lost yet another game. I can't buy a win at the moment. We've got an upgrade. And I think it's going to, even though he's already an inform, it has to be Bentaleb. So as I am a man of my word, mostly, uh, Bentaleb is going to be the guy to be upgraded. Yes, I could have upgraded any other of these silver players to a non-red gold or to an inform. But Bentaleb did that thing right at the end of the game that cost me the match. And that's the reason why he has to go. And he's going to be replaced by Jordan Henderson. Not the most exotic of players, of course, but he is a solid addition. This team is not the best. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what I need to do to change it. I'm just not enjoying playing with it. Without any further talking about Jordan Henderson and potatoes, let's go play the second game of this episode. The connection on this was a little bit dodgy, so I'm expecting it to lag. He's got a, a bronze right back at left back. He's got a full Serie A side at the bottom. And then we've got, I'm saying, I, he's just got three really good attackers and the rest of it is just bog standard stuff and then that bronze for some reason. But, I mean, he's got good attackers. We're in trouble. <clears throat> good ball down to one of his team of the season players who really should have scored. Really, really should have scored. 
nods it down, gives it to Zarate. Zarate plays it back to Sessing Young. Sessing Young does well to trip his man. Crouch making no effort to get into the box at all. Then he does, but Zarate's there. Boom, 1 0. And it counts for nothing because Zarate is the man with the goal. Crouch into the box, shoots. Lag scores. Finally, we get on the score sheet with Crouch. And the guy's pretty much just dropped his controller at this stage. And the lag is getting a little bit unbearable as well. But we've managed to get an upgrade. If this guy leaves his controller for the entire game, I'm going to score as many goals with Crouch as I possibly can. That's just, that's the way I'm, I don't normally do that. But this series warrants it, I think. Come on, lads. Crouch is just so shit at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with him. Turns his man here. Peter Crouch is in on goal. Will he score? That's what I'm dealing with. Crouch from the edge of the area, goes for goal here, and it, it goes in. I'm really surprised he managed to score that, but that's another upgrade. And it's taken me 17 more minutes, more or less, eh, to score another goal against the guy who's not even playing. That's how bad I am at this game at the moment. Ball back in towards Peter Crouch, gets there with his head, and he scores. To be fair, the goals that he's been scoring, the defenders wouldn't have been able to block them anyway. Um, well, the first one, yes. The, the second two, no, because it was one from the edge of the area, and that one just then was unstoppable. Crouch turns his man, even though he wasn't there, and he's in on goal here. Gotta be, and it is. It's four, five, four for Crouch, five overall. That's going to be where I leave it. In fact, no, I'm going to try and score as many as I can before half time. I've got three minutes. He's in on goal here. I would be annoyed if he doesn't score, and he does, and that's another upgrade. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get the ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got 30 seconds. I have a tendency to lose the ball in these situations, but I'm in on goal here. A little touch needed. Crouch, brilliant. He's, oh, he's hit the bar. Peter Crouch, what are you doing to me? Ugh. Crouch wins the ball here. He's got a lot of space, but he does have a lack of pace. He's got a ball roll ability that wins him some space. Shoots, should have scored. Zarate will obviously miss, and unbelievably, the game is still 6-0. And again, look at, the, look at the tenacity in the challenge. Inside quickly. Crouch back inside to Sessignon. Zarate through the centre. He's onside. Cuts back on it gloriously. And again, Buffon makes a save. I cannot beat this goalkeeper in the second half. I don't know what's going on. Van Arnholt on the edge of the area. Goes for goal. Oh, it's a peach. It's an absolute worldie from Van Arnholt. I believe it's Van Arnholt. I can't see the player's name. But that is a glorious effort, whoever it is. And we are now leading the game seven goals to nil. And that is the pick of the lot because the other ones were scored when he wasn't present. But still, look at that. Just takes it down and whack with his left foot. Brilliant effort. And it is indeed Patrick Van Arnholt. No, he just sprints past me. There's not an awful lot I can do here. Not an awful lot at all. And he's in and he scores. Finally, he's got one. 7-1. If we'd scored... Um, if you take away the goals we scored while he wasn't there, we're still winning 2-1. Uh, but it doesn't really matter anyway because the upgrades are what we want. Crouch the receiver here. This could be interesting. What can you do with it, Crouchy? Ball roll for days here. Ball roll. Beats his man. Beats another man. In. Shoots. And again. Again. Should have scored. And that's game set match, 7-1. We would have won 2-1 on the day. I say we would have. I don't know if he played the entire way through. I probably would have lost. But still, um, we've scored quite a few upgrades there. Right, so we've got five upgrades to apply. I know a lot of you are going to be a bit miffed that I've done it that way. Uh, but, I, I mean, if he had been, if he'd not been there in the second half, I would not have scored goals. And I said that I wanted to score as many as I could up until half time. We managed to get five. And now we're going to go straight into the non rare gold section of this team. First player to give way is going to be Kasper Schmeichel. He will give way for Brad Guzan. A couple of these were just whatever was left in my club from previous projects and things and I've brought in a couple uh, that I wanted to use primarily goalkeeper wise I didn't really have a non rear goal in mind so just Brad Guzan will do the job for now the centre back Okora is going to give way I'm very sad about this because he in the last couple of games has performed exceptionally well but we are going to replace him with someone with equal strength I believe and that is going to be uh, Colo Torre I mean I could have put anyone here, really. It could have been Kabul, for instance, but I, do, I didn't want to use someone that was overused, so I wanted to use uh, Colo Torre. 74 pace, 80 physical, 78 defending. That's not too bad at all. Van Arnholt, who scored a wonder goal in that episode while the guy was actually playing as well, so it wasn't like he wasn't controlling. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he he's done well for me, and I've always liked Van Arnholt. I've used him in quite a few squads this season. It's time for him to give way to Nacho Monreal. Again, could have used... 
Gibbs, could have used Shaw, could have used a few others, uh, to, you know, just those are to name a few. But I've gone with Nacho Monreal. I, I, I like this guy. I don't know, he's, he's solid 70s. 78 pace, not the best, but the rest of his stats are pretty damn decent for a non rare And then we're going to go and get rid of Andros Townsend, another player who has scored a worldie recently. I can't remember what game it was in. I think we might have lost, well, we probably did lose the game. We lose every game. Uh, but I, I think it might have been when we lost 3-2 maybe 4-3, something along those lines. But again, he's played exceptionally well for us. I think two goals in 15 is not a bad return considering that he's not in the team to score goals. It was Crouch. And I, every time I got the ball with Townsend, I was looking for Crouch. I would never go for goal, apart from maybe once or twice. Anyway, he's going to go. And Victor Moses, a player who is... Um, he surprised me with the amount of... Okay, not this card, but uh, on my other account, he's... Uh, He's quite nippy. 84 pace doesn't doesn't tell the whole story. 80 dribbling is about right, but he's just very, very good, very skillful. I really like this guy. And last but not least, we are going to get rid of Osama Asaidi, who will be the last uh, rare silver. We do have an inform in there, which we will get rid of in the next match. Uh, but uh, Osama Asaidi is going to be the player to give way. And he will give way to Wayne Routledge. That's right, Rain, Wayne Routledge comes into the starting lineup. And uh, was it him or a Yewu? I was looking at the Swansea players. A Yewu, the newly transferred guy. Garnet, I believe. Um, I prefer Wayne Routledge. He four star instead of a three star skills. The, the, the work rates are the same. He's got a high, high attacking. Um, same as a Yewu, but he has a four star weak foot, four star skill moves. A Yewu only has three and three. 83 pace, a Yewu has 81. 80 dribbling, exactly the same with a Yewu, I think. And then, okay, there are better passing and shooting stats on a Yewu, but he's not going to be in there to shoot anyway. So I just wanted the skills from what from Wayne Routledge. That's going to be the starting lineup to go into the next game. That is going to be an interesting one. Uh, it's not as strong as it was, I believe, with Asaidi and Townsend in there, but it is still hopefully going to be good enough to get us a couple of goals. That's actually going to do it for today's episode of the Crouchy 1 and Up. Join me again very, very soon where we're going to get some more upgrades and we're going to start getting into the rare golds and then the inform, and we're going to wrap it up and we're going to start our brand new series. It's going to be Legends Unite. That's what I've decided to call it, so it's going to be interesting. I'm not going to give you any more information about that. Just Legends Unite. What could it be? What could it be? We'll see. If you've enjoyed it, lads, please smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have done so. A quick note as well about the t-shirts. We still need two more sales in the next, I don't know, seven, eight days in order for those t-shirts to go to print. So if you are one of the ones that wanted one of those t-shirts but still haven't got around to buying them, you can find the link in the description. If you are one of the ones that have bought one and are worried that they're not going to go to print, tell people about this campaign. They're like £6.70 plus postage. It's not expensive for a t-shirt at all even if you're just going to wear it around the house and you need a t-shirt it's a good idea it, it helps out no one because i don't get any money for it but still it is um yeah just go just go do it just go do it why not link down below thank you very much for watching as always till the next time goodbye if you want to get yourself some very cheap games and some memberships if you want a new xbox membership or psn membership go to cdkeys.com or g2a.com the links can be found in the description if you find yourself wanting some fifa points as well and you don't want to buy coins for whatever reason they do them ridiculously cheap just buy the codes to redeem on the xbox or the playstation and buy yourself some fifa points the links are down below go check them out